China's White Emperor fighter jet concept has sparked a wave of interest. This isn't just any new aircraft. It's a look at what could be China's vision for sixth-generation fighter technology. But what makes this design so interesting? Let's break it down. First impressions of the White Emperor reveal a futuristic and stealthy shape. It features a blended wing body structure, where the fuselage, or main body, smoothly connects to the wings. This approach not only reduces drag, helping it fly more efficiently, but also minimizes radar detection. Another unique feature is its dual tail fins. Unlike traditional vertical tails, these fins are angled outward. This outward angle helps reflect radar signals away from the source, enhancing stealth. Plus, these tail fins improve stability and control, especially during fast maneuvers. The exhaust and engine placement add to the stealthy design. The engines are embedded deep within the aircraft's body, and the exhaust nozzles are tucked away to reduce their visibility from behind. This setup lowers the jet's infrared signature, making it less detectable by heat-seeking sensors from the ground or enemy aircraft. One of the most debated aspects of the White Emperor is its canards. Canards are a controversial choice for stealth aircraft. They're excellent for agility and stability, but they can reflect radar waves, potentially making the jet more visible. So why did China go for this design? If they've managed to keep these canards stealthy, it could give the White Emperor a big advantage in maneuverability without losing its low observable edge. Moving to the shape of the jet, you'll notice sharp angled surfaces and a faceted design. These sharply angled edges are no accident. They're designed to scatter radar waves. This is similar to designs seen in stealth jets like the American F-117 or China's own J-20, but the White Emperor seems to take it to a new level. Now, let's talk about the air intakes. These are positioned along the fuselage with sharp, angled edges, which is great for reducing radar detection. However, there's a potential drawback. If there's no internal S-curve ducting, which hides the engine's fan blades, the White Emperor could be vulnerable to radar from certain angles, especially head-on. So while the air intake design looks stealthy, it might need further modification to keep it undetectable from all angles. One thing that stands out about the White Emperor is its large internal missile bays. Unlike many jets, where external weapons create drag and increase radar visibility, this jet's missile bays are built inside the body. This design can hold a larger payload while keeping stealth intact, meaning it could carry more firepower without compromising its radar profile. This is a big deal because it allows the White Emperor to stay stealthy while being heavily armed. The landing gear also deserves attention. Unlike other stealth jets, which are usually restricted to smooth, well-prepared runways, the White Emperor's landing gear is robust. This means it could handle rougher landings on makeshift airstrips, possibly even on dirt or rocky runways. Lastly, let's consider how the White Emperor compares to other modern fighters. The current fifth-generation fighters, like the F-35 or China's own J-20, are focused on low observability, that is, stealth, but sometimes lack high maneuverability. The White Emperor's Delta Wing configuration combined with its canards could mean it's both stealthy and highly agile. In theory, this would give it an edge in evasion while still delivering fast, deadly strikes. But what truly sets the White Emperor B apart from fifth-generation fighters is its dual mission focus. The Nantian Men Project envisions this fighter not only as an air combat vehicle, but potentially as an air-to-space platform. This vision of dual roles points to a future where air dominance might extend beyond Earth's atmosphere. If successful, this design could open the door to space-capable missions, possibly serving in early warning roles, satellite interception, or even deep strike operations beyond the atmosphere. Of course, this is still a mock-up, and there are reasons to be skeptical. China's previous 5th Gen J-20 struggled with engine development, impacting its performance. So, it's hard to believe they'd leap from 5th Gen challenges directly to a 6th Gen airspace fighter. Also, as seen with the White Emperor B's exaggerated landing gear and asymmetrical paint patterns, 
some design aspects might be more for show or even misdirection. So, what does the White Emperor B truly represent? Is it a glimpse into China's future air power? While Beijing keeps its cards close, this aircraft undoubtedly signals China's aerospace ambitions. That's it for today. See you in the next video.